Well, I'm, I'm excited about the group that we have. We've got a, a veteran presence back that's, that's experienced. They've been with me now for two years. They know exactly the system, the, the style, my expectations, and, and they've given us great leadership. Josh Wallace, Frankie Sullivan, Rob Chubb, and Noel Johnson have done a great job in practice. Um, and, and, the, and two guys specifically, Frankie Sullivan and, and Rob Chubb, have been the best two players in practice. And so we haven't had that. We, I talk about a team, you've got to have a dominant player or two that stick out every single day, day and dominate your practice. And those two guys have done that for us. But they've also done a great job of leading the, the talented group of newcomers that we have, the, the freshmen as well as the junior college transfers. Those seniors have done a great job of, of helping me coach them and mentor them because they know that we're going to need them this year. Coach, I didn't do a great job of taking my next question, but I did want to make a quick <laughs> comment about a couple of those guys that have been training yeah. off. He's been through a lot. He's, he's been through a lot of adversity, and I and I think that that it builds character and it reveals character as well. And he's handled both very very well. Um, you know, coming off that that devastating injury he had my first year, you know, he did a great job of battling back and having a fantastic year last year. But he only played at 75, 80 percent, and so now it's usually that second year back off of that injury where you you start to see yourself back at 100 percent. And he had a great 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 summer. And he's off to a great start in practice. He's, he's making a lot of plays for us. He's making a lot of shots. And he's a guy that we're going to depend on to make big shots when they count for us. And he's done that really, really well. Same thing with, same thing with Rob Chubb. Yeah. Rob Chubb has really worked hard. He's, wor he's made himself into what I think should be an all-SEC center this year. Um, you know, when I got the job a few years ago, he was 6'10", 210 pounds, and didn't know if he belonged. Now he's 255 pounds, and he's playing – like a senior with, with a lot, a lot of confidence. He's dominated our practices. Um, he's been a good score for us since I've been there, but now we need him to, to really be able to defend and rebound this position at a high level. And I think with the added strength that he's put on, it's going to allow him to do that. Yeah, well, I think every coach builds their non-conference uh, schedule to prepare them for their league schedule and at the same time create some opportunities to, to build a resume in the process. And from year one to year two, our strength of schedule improved. And I think the same thing from year two to year three, we've increased the, uh, the strength of our non-conference schedule. And I think that happens as you're growing a program. You, you build your schedule that way. And so we've got some great opportunities in the non-conference schedule from the, the DePaul game and the SEC Big East Challenge. Uh, in the Auburn Arena, you look at Florida State, uh, uh, an NCAA tournament team coming back to the Auburn Arena. You look at the games on the road at Boston College, um, at Illinois in the United Center in Chicago is going to be a great game for us for national TV. And then the Charleston Classic is a fantastic field where we start off with a preseason top 25 uh, team in Murray State. So it is a difficult slate, but it's, it's one that I wanted to challenge this team because it's, it's time for us to start to turn the corner. Well, it's, the, the talent is obvious, and that's the one thing that we've had to do at Auburn since I've been there, and that's increase our talent level. And th this group is no different. I mean, you you got a lot of different parts in this class. Starting with Brian Green, the 6'3", 215-pound point guard, who just brings us a different level of physicality and athleticism at that position that we haven't had. He can stretch the floor with his ability to shoot, but he can finish at the rim with his athleticism and skill and strength. You look at Jordan Price, the highest ranked of the, the incoming players, who was a top 50 uh, recruit in high school last year. He's a, again, a different, we had to increase our talent and our size as well. He's a 6'5", 220 pound combo guard who can play the point because of his skill level, but he can play the two because of his ability to score. You look at Shaquille Johnson, um, who's already a, a YouTube celebrity is what I call him, a guy that's got over a million hits on his YouTube videos of him dunking in high school. I mean, he, I've been around a lot of guys um, in my UMass days, my Memphis days, and my UMass, UTEP days of guys in practice who were different level athletes who did something every day that wowed you as a coach. And Shaquille Johnson is that guy. He makes a highlight real play every day. You just go, is that humanly possible? And so Shaquille, will, is, he'll be quickly become a fan favorite in the Auburn arena. Um, you look at Jordan Granger, the other freshman, the 6'9", uh, freshman from St. Louis, who's a winner. He won back-to-back -back state titles in uh, the highest class in Missouri. Mr. Basketball, 6A in Missouri. He's a guy that'll, that'll, that'll bring us some size along the front line, um, that brings us an energy level at that power forward position. And then the two junior college transfers, Sharif Adamu, the 6'9", 230-pound power forward, who started in Division I at Alabama State and helped them to the NCAA tournament his freshman year. 
transferred to a junior college and then uh, came to us at Auburn this year. He'll bring us a lot of attributes that Kenny Gabriel, he'll, be, he'll replace a lot of that, his ability to rebound the position, his ability to stretch the floor and shoot um, from the perimeter. But he gives us a different physicality at that position that we haven't had at 6'9", 230 pounds. And then Asan Dixon Tatum is a, is a difference maker, I think. He's a guy that we've had to get bigger across the front line. And 7 foot, 230 pounds, 7 foot, 4 wingspan, 36-inch uh, vertical jump. He's a guy that, that led Division I junior college in block shots last year. We had our first triple-double in the history of our school last year, and Kenny Gabriel, the first one. Well, Asan had eight last year in, all, in his junior college season, eight triple-doubles, block shots, rebounds, points. So he'll give us a, a, a different dimension and depth that we haven't had at that center position playing behind Rob Chubb. So I'm excited about this, this, new, this incoming group and how they blend with the veterans.